this short video we'll look at how to open an ebook in BibliU and the functionality which BibliU offers. Please note that I will be demonstrating BibliU in a standard web browser. If you are making use of the BibliU apps, the location of some of the icons may display differently. As a Coventry University student, you have access to the vast majority of texts which appear in BibliU, not just those directly linked to the course you are taking. When you identify a book you would like to access, hover your cursor over its cover. If you wish to save it for easy recall in the future, you can favourite it by selecting the yellow heart icon. If you wish to access the book directly, simply click on it. The book I'm going to access for the purpose of this exercise is called Writing for University by Jean Godfrey. The first time you access a book, you will be asked to give your consent for BibliU's analytics cookies to be deployed. Access to the book is only granted if this consent is given. BibliU uses cookies to gain anonymised data about the books being read on their platform. I'm going to give my consent which is required to access the book. Under GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, websites now have to get explicit consent from users about the use of cookies. So this is why you see this sort of question now being asked on a lot of websites. By going to the BibliU homepage, you can change your cookie permissions within settings. As you can see, while analytics cookies have to be activated to grant access to ebooks on the BibliU platform, there are also additional optional cookies which are up to the individual user whether they wish to enable. To gain a bit of insight into how BibliU make use of analytics and reading data to improve the student experience, you may like to check out their blog. By giving consent to analytics cookies, we now have access to the book. The first piece of functionality which you will see and will want to set according to your preferences is the zoom function. You can adjust this using the plus and minus icons in the bottom right of screen, if you're viewing in desktop mode as I am, also by selecting the settings up toward the top right of screen. Within settings you will also find some further accessibility features. Flux mode. Night mode, which is designed for low light settings. And custom colours, where you can adjust the colour of the text and the background. This level of customization can be particularly useful, as it is known, for instance, that people with dyslexia can struggle to focus on black text on a pure white background. By altering the background colour to an off-white and the text to a dark grey or something similar may help readers in this situation. Toward the top left of screen, you will see an icon for Table of Contents. This will enable you to navigate to the chapter or section of the book which interests you. You also have a magnifying glass icon which allows you to search within the text for a particular word or phrase. Results will then display where the system has detected that word. It will provide results according to the quality of the match between your search terms and what has been detected in the book. You can skip to the relevant part of the book where the search term has been detected by clicking on the relevant result. In terms of navigating from page to page in a linear fashion, there are a few ways to do this. You can scroll through the text in the way you would a standard web page or document. 
You can also use the bar along the bottom of the screen to go forward and back in the text, and to enter the specific page number you wish to navigate to. Please note, BibliU hosts two different types of ebook files, PDF and EPUB format. With a PDF, you can scroll through the whole document from beginning to end. With an EPUB, the document is arranged chapter by chapter, and so you will have to move on to the next chapter once you have reached the end of the previous one. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If so, you may wish to move on to the next videos which cover accessibility and how to highlight and annotate ebooks within BibliU. Thank you.